out to find out what is happening. Reaching the place, the fire darkling, the house had caught fire, and I could see it from through the window and the, and the doors. I, the, all the doors were locked and the windows, and there was no student inside. So I actually mobilized people to uh, bring the fire extinguishers. And the attempt to use the fire extinguishers would not actually materialize. And we turned actually to use the water. And the community joined us, and we were able actually to put the fire down after a long struggle. Nothing was salvaged, and there was nobody who was actually hurt. The dome housed uh, 68 students. The steps they are taking, we are actually going to meet and see what can be done. Because we cannot actually start saying no, because we did actually plan for that kind of eventuality. No, that things will go well. When they come, we will actually see how we can accommodate them. Whether you will actually force us to actually take some mattresses so that they can actually sleep on other classes because not all our classes are open. The challenge is actually the mattresses and the blankets. The hundred percent transition we don't have enough infrastructure infrastructure. We just have to going to struggle. I received the report of fire, school dormitory fire from the deputy principal that the fire started at around 7 30 pm. Now the police as police we rushed to the scene and they established that the dormitory that is constructed of iron sheets and housing uh, 68 students had completely been burned. And the property for the students completely burned. That is the books and their clothing. The students were not, at the, were not in the dormitory at the time of fire because the school had closed. So we suspect that the cause of fire could be an electric fault, which we are going to investigate. Going to do forensic investigations by involving the experts, the fire experts and Kenya Power, so that we are able to establish the truth. So basically we are going to do investigations, which we have commenced.